Cap 7 Tip of the Week. Okay, so we're going to talk about attacking an M zone and or a splitting defense. And this can be, you know, a variety of ways, but the most classical one is when a team is pressing, they lose position at two meters. One of the players from the perimeter, it can be the point, but it can really be any player. Usually one of the top three players will come back into a full drop, coming all the way back to deny the ball to two meters. And then the remaining players on the perimeter will come up and split in the gap. And a lot of teams will do this to create um, a great counterattack opportunity. You've got some fast, quick, aggressive players who can react well. If the team on offense makes one mistake, you're off to the races typically on a, on a two-on-one. Okay, So you have to keep in the back of your mind when attacking an M zone that the defense is doing this to generate a counterattack, and that's your biggest risk. Okay, So really the most classic thing you'll tell your team is don't shoot from the point. Okay, So if you shoot from the point, this player's shooting, all his momentum's going forward, these players are waiting for that moment, they're up in the lane. They're going to be re able to react and beat these players and have a, a strong two-on-one on a counterattack, which you never want to give up. Okay, So you have to be conservative on the offensive end. You want to talk through what's going on. So communication is really important here. Okay, If a team is in a normal defense and they shift into an M zone, it's important that all the players are communicating, talking out loud, M zone, M zone. Okay, so everyone knows what to do. Typically, um, you'll get the ball to that point player, okay? And hopefully you'll have done just a few drills, talked about it on a chalk talk with your team beforehand. If the other team runs an M zone, this is what we're going to do. So you want to have a game plan going into it. If you don't, it's impossible. Even if you do this, show your team the drop, it's very hard for the players to communicate and, and execute it right. So it definitely takes a little bit of time and practice going into it. Okay, so get the ball to the point player, keep that ball up in attacking position. This player is told that he's not going to shoot, okay, no matter what. And eventually, you know, sometimes he'll be able to walk it in really far and everyone can cover, he can shoot. But as a baseline, you'd want to tell your player not to shoot the ball at the point, okay. And then what you're going to do is you're going to choose to attack from one side of the pool or the other, okay. So classically, you'll attack from here. You're always going to have two right-handed players on this side of the pool. Okay, and you can choose, you know, really one of two basic methods. One is just where you attack in, you want to attack in a little bit on a, the legs of an A. Okay, so if we're going this way, we're going to here, this way here, we're not going to go, we're not going to attack straight in. We want to bait this player to jump to us. Okay, so we can attack in on this angle. And the most simple thing you can do is just have this player occupy this player, drive into him a little bit, keep this player honest. So if he's up high in the gap, drive in a little bit, this player will come down. And then this player is just going to take a couple quick strokes. This player attacks in. Once he's committed, you're just going to make a little pass over the top. And you can get a shot. The, the weak side, once they see that the player on the point it starts to attack this way, they're thinking defense immediately. Okay, So immediately, covering back the defense, pass the ball, and everyone's reacting back. You get a high-quality shot here. Okay, Another option you can do is you can drive down from the wing. Okay, again, ball to the point to start at all times. Okay, start to attack in again this side to bait this player to come. Okay, and then you're going to drive in from the wing, really committing this player down. And then instead of driving in here, you're going to drive down a little bit more to the wing. This two meter player is going to slide over. A lot of times you'll see a situation where you get this position and this player doesn't know what to do. So this player, when he drives in, has to be ready to, to receive the ball in this position, catch the ball, turn, and control the ball in the goal, not to take a, a quick smack shot when you've got time. Okay, Keep the ball up. This player can do a breaststroke advance in. If this player is sort of staying back, you don't want to settle for a shot out here. Okay, If you have an advantage here, breaststroke advance in, come in. This player jumps, you pass it. This player stays. You go in and fire the ball. Again, same principle. Weak side is retreating back to defense. You can run these plays on this side if you have uh, good left-handers on the, on, the, on the weak side of the pool. 